Good morning fellow bakers and welcome to the Gringo Baker channel. This morning we're going to make a mixed berry with pieces of apple in it pie. I started doing this a couple of years ago because I didn't have enough berries and it turned out it makes a really good pie. So that's what today's pie is all about. We're using uh, some new equipment here. We have two more cameras and uh, the laptop as we used before and now the telephone is also a camera that's also recording the audio so hopefully everything sounds good we have new lights and you can tell it's a little better lit than it has been in the past um, we should have a little higher quality video than we've had in the past and, and i hope that's the case anyway we start this pie by wrapping up uh, an apple make it into pretty small pieces and then we dump it in a mixing bowl to which we're going to add all of the other ingredients. These are the berries we're going to use. They're uh, strawberries, wild blueberries, red raspberries, and blackberries. And these with the apple make a really, really good pie. I guess as I would expect from this particular company, it's mostly blueberries. Got our berries and our apples together in here. We add one cup of sugar, five tablespoons of cornstarch, a pinch of salt, about a quarter um, teaspoon or so of cinnamon and two tablespoons of lemon juice then we stir that all together I'm gonna try to mix it up as well as you can so that the cornstarch sugar mixture is all over everything and that the apple is evenly dispersed. You want to mix it all up as best you can so that all of the dry ingredients are pretty evenly distributed and so that the apple pieces are evenly distributed in the mix as well. Okay, this is what it looks like at this point. Now I've already prepared a crust. So we're going to set that aside, bring the crust over, pour the filling in it. This pie is going to be served with some nice vanilla bean ice cream. Strawberries are hanging on one side here, so we'll spread them out a little bit. Then, because I've done a lattice crust, we're going to put the lattice crust on top, and I always hope that I hit this evenly enough, so let's see what happens. Closed off to one side a little bit, but I think we can fix that. So I'm going to take the scissors and trim around it some so that the crust doesn't end up being half an inch thick here. Because the next stage is when we 
roll the top pieces under the bottom pieces as best we can. This pie is going to be bubbly in the oven, so what we're going to do is we're going to put it on a cookie, a baking sheet with a piece of parchment paper underneath it. So if it bubbles over, it doesn't get all over the bottom of the oven because that makes a wicked mess. And that's going to be that for the pie in terms of getting it ready for the oven. Okay, so now the edges are all rolled under. This is what the pie looks like at this point in time. You can see it's a pretty good looking pie. It's going to taste perfectly fine and everybody that's gonna get a piece of this is gonna be pretty happy. And that's gonna be it for this portion of the video. I'll be back after it has become a cooked pie. I'll see you then. And here is a slice of that delicious berry apple pie with homemade whipped cream. Thanks for watching.